decided to go for a walk and look what I can see in the water. How lucky was that that I was just walking past here and then <laughs> Why is it I always choose the hikes that involve walking up a mountain? I don't know if you can see how steep this is, but oh my god, really? <laughs> right, so I've walked and walked and walked and it's hot. I've got the Bob's view. That's the ferry I came in on, just leaving to go back to Wellington. a little room tour of my latest hostel which is called the villa and it's really cute this is my room and i've bagged a top bunk again and i've somehow got to get up here and on there it has a hot tub so unfortunately I won't be able to make use of the hot tub this time because I'm only here for one night. But in two nights' time, I'm in a place called Techno, so hopefully I'll be able to use the hot tub there. This is absolutely stunning. I'm so glad that I got up this morning to come on this mail boat. We've got a trip all around this area. And a bit later on, we'll be getting off for a bit of a walk. Here we are on a deserted island. We've just been dropped off for an hour. Climb to the top and look at that. How stunning. We've got Shipwreck Cove and Cannibal, Cannibal Cove over there. It is just out of this world. So lucky. And here is the view from the other side. <laughs> Talk about standing on the top of the world. <laughs> It's amazing! How lucky are we? This is just next level stunning. I really cannot believe that I am here. This is just... Wow. 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 So here I am. I've just stopped at Ship's Cove. This is where Captain Cook first landed. <laughs> so um, we're here at Ship Cove and Ship Cove is where Captain Cook first landed here in the South Island. Um, he arrived here in 1770 and um, when he arrived here I had ancestors, my ancestors were here and they were out here gathering food. Um, they would use the outer sounds to trap food in the summer to carry them through the winter. So their main diet was the birds, the seafood and the native bracken roots. That's all they had. And uh, it was very plentiful and it's what they were up to when Cook arrived here. And so we were the first people to uh, regularly start trading with Captain Cook and it was all done here at Ship Cove. He spent more time here than any other part of New Zealand. He came back here five times and he used it as a base because it had good fresh water supplies, it had a beach he could put his vessel on and clean the barnacles off it. There was hard native woods up in the back here that he could um, cut spars for spare spars on a sailing ship and um, he could trade with my ancestors here and they were the reasons that he kept coming back to this part. Thank you.
how cool is this? What a great way to spend a Monday morning. Oh my word, really? Just look at that. It's amazing. Thank you, Hazel, for the heads up on what side of the bus to sit on. just arrived in Lake Tekapo from Christchurch. Beautiful. I'm now just going to take a bit of a walk up to the um, supermarket to go and get some food because there's nothing particularly here. There's just the lodges and the view. And the lupins. Evidently people wait to come here when all the lupins are out because they are really quite beautiful. So first night at Lake Tekapo. It was good, it's a really nice hostel. So this morning I've decided to come and do a bit of a walk. But the views already are stunning. been in New Zealand now for about two weeks. The North Island was lovely but I have to say I think the South Island for me I mean just look at that Lake Tekapo. And all you can hear is the birds. Right, okay, all those other hills that I've climbed to date, nothing compared to this. And I'm going up there. I think I'm at the top. Really, whose bloody stupid idea was this? I'm sure it'll be worth it when I get there. So I'm heading away from the lake now. I'm headed up towards the observatory. Which, guess what? It's uphill just met some lovely ladies from America, um, New Mexico, California, that side, uh, and they shared some of their water with me because I drank too much of mine, just to find out that the cafe that's at the top where you can get more water is closed today, which isn't helpful. So that was very kind of them. Just me and the sheep. <laughs> You're gonna have to give me a minute. You take a look at the views in the meantime. <laughs> oh gosh, stop it. Okay, I can see the end. Up behind me, one more hill, there's the observatory. Oh my god. 
I'm so glad it's up another hill. I've made it right to the top. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> now I've just got to get back down before it rains. Some of those clouds are creeping down the mountains now. So it rained yesterday evening. So hopefully I've got a while yet. Who knew there were such beautiful places in the world? Talk about a walk of two halves. It was all hot and sticky up by the water and the climb. I was literally climbing for about two hours. And now it's all cool. I'm actually quite glad I did it this way around. I've now been walking for almost three hours and I can now see where I'm staying. It's over there, that little thing in the distance. <laughs> I don't know if it's easier going up or coming down. God, my legs ache. Yes! <laughs> I've only gone and done it. And I'm now going to go and sit down and have a rest. I think I've earned it. Good morning. I've come for a little stroll up to the area where you get dropped off for the buses. I've come to see a little church just up here. Very beautiful, but from this side of the lake you can see where I walked yesterday. So I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see how far I walked. So I am staying behind these trees here and I walked all the way along, all the way along to about here somewhere, not the far point, that little bit there, then all the way up the side of the mountain, up, 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 <laughs> right to this point here where the observatory is. And then I walked across to the south peak and then ran the back of the mountain and all the way down through the forest, down this winding road here, back down. And that was about 10 miles or 15 kilometers. And to say I was exhausted afterwards was an understatement. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. But standing on this side of the lake, you can really see how far it was. Although it felt a lot further, I have to say.